Howdy folks and welcome back to the Copy Booth server. I am the Tall Turtle and we need to get these cows because I need the leather for what we're going to do today. We are going on an adventure and for me it's going to be an enormous adventure. Um, but we need some leather and before I tell you what we're doing I have to put this up on the screen because... I died off camera due to a glitch. I was working on my secret project using ender pearls to get around, and I ender pearled into a wall, suffocated, and died. I got all my stuff back though, because it was stuck to the wall. Um, but yeah, so that was um, very. Ooh, whoa, see that server leg? I swiped that like three seconds ago. So that was interesting and frustrating. I just got my stuff back, but it counts as a death, so there you go. Um, I will tell you about our secret adventure in a moment, and I'll tell you about my secret project as soon as I'm done carefully getting these cows and avoiding the baby ones. Alright, I think that does it. That leaves just the babies. And we got 16 pieces of leather. So, I did put some glowstone in to try some lighting, and I also put some glowstone in my path way got rid of the torches so that's nice and so far it's been enough to avoid spawning but my big secret project i've been working on is this i have made a new front to my mountain and it's hilarious because i told myself years ago i would never build a castle in minecraft and what do i have on my first smp a castle <laughs> but it's built into the mountain i was very careful to keep it built into the mountain. I gave it some 3D-ness though. My first iteration was completely flat and it looked silly. So I made it 3D, put three T's on the top for the tall turtle. And I'll show you the very top in a moment, but I wanted to show you the side and how it goes into the mountain here. If we step back like this, see how it goes into the mountain. So it retains that look. And if we run over to the other side, you can see that it's kind of built into the mountain. Um, let's go all the way out here for a second. Whoops, I didn't need to actually do that. So, there's my glass way, my glass that you can see through there. It doesn't line up with anything, but I left the stone and dirt there to look like it's kind of in the mountain, more so in the back. Now, the back side and the far side are completely in the mountain, so it only goes down like one or two layers. So this mountain here goes all the way across the back, but we'll probably never see the back. Um, I finished the wall. I'm not sure what I'm going to do around the corner. I probably will keep it going into the mountain. At least that was the original plan. I don't want a castle that, like, is standalone. I want it to be built into the mountain. I don't know what to do about that glass window area on the side, but I put it in polished granite for now to give it some very distinct separation. And um, let's hop inside if I can. There we go. Kind of close. Nope. Whoa, see that server leg? I was halfway up the stairs. And I went back outside. Anyway, I did a few things inside as well. Well, more than a few things. Um, I expanded the glass and I added something on the right side here. Now, this is all blocked off and it is dark enough there for stuff to spawn. Light level is 5, even during the day. So I'm hoping something will spawn in there someday, but maybe the area is too small because nothing has spawned yet. And I've been on the server for many, 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 many hours between episodes working on various things. And nothing has spawned yet, but I have a bunch of name tags. So I figure if something spawns, I'll try to give it a name tag. If it's a creeper, I'll have to give it a name tag without blowing up because I'll be within range for it to blow up. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. But that is dark enough, even to spawn during the day. So I'm hoping that happens. Something else I did then is I opened up the top because I could. Um, I'm not as excited about this as I imagined I would be. I thought that it would, I don't know, look neater, but I don't know. I might put a lid back on it. We'll see. But anyway, I have stairs now going up the side. Of course, it's glass, so nothing will come down on me, and it won't rain on me, and I can walk and not fall down and die. This is all down a level. Nothing can spawn up here, because these lower ones are not spawnable and these middle ones are light enough. So here's the top. So if you want to know where we are, there is our world. And there's looking down the front of the castle area. So like I said, I am surprised I built a castle looking thing. But I'm proud of it. 
I put a lot of hours into this off camera. I just felt like it. Um, this is where we took off then when I did my first flying Elytra video episode last time or two times ago, whatever it was. We were actually standing right here. I just didn't want to show you. So the back of this then goes into the mountain all the way around. So it still has that mountain home feel and that mountain home um, build. See how it goes into the mountain here? But it's too down to nothing can jump in. Um, so anyway, I'm proud of it. Like I said, this inside thing, I'm not completely sold on yet. I like that it's open, but I kind of liked the closed off look as well, so I don't know. I'll probably continually make changes to this thing. I really want something to spawn in these cages, but there's probably some rule I'm overlooking that's keeping that from happening because nothing to spawn there at all. Um, that torch looks really out of place, but it's going to stay there for now. So what are we doing today? I put that ender chest there, by the way. I finally got smart and realized if I put my valuables in a ender chest, if I die, I'll get it back with another ender chest. I can't believe it took me this long to put two and two together and remember that. Um, in the meantime, let's play some music while we work, shall we? And I'll tell you what we're gonna do. There we go. We are going to find a mushroom biome today, whatever it takes to find a mushroom biome because um, Sefa has been looking. Sefa has gone about 10,000 blocks north of their base looking for mushroom biome and has found nothing. So I'm gonna go to the Southern Mesa and start there and fly around and look for a mushroom biome. I'm hoping I find one. And in all the other worlds I've done, which aren't many, I've always found mushroom biomes next to a Southern Mesa. Coincidence, I'm sure, but hopefully the coincidence continues. So what are we going to do? Well, let me tell you what we're going to do. Um, we're going to bring our elytra and fly around. I have an anvil and some leather to fix the elytra. I have a bunch of rockets. I went crazy on rockets, by the way. I went to the witch farm, left my guy to sit there for several hours while I did stuff around the house with the kids. Got so much gunpowder, I made not only these four stacks of Duration 3 rockets, but there's a bunch more in here. I totally went crazy on the rockets. So, that's fine. Um, what else do we have? We have a whole bunch of goods. He's got a bunch of beds. I guess four beds, because that's 40 minutes of flying around. If I don't find something in 40 minutes, I don't know what I'm going to do. I was going to bring a map, but I'm not going to worry about it. A um, whole bunch of extra torches. Um, boat in case we need it, ender pearls in case we need them, crafting table. Now, if you notice, we've got obsidian and a few other things here. And that is because once we do find the mushroom biome, we are going to need to connect it to a portal in the nether. So I brought obsidian to make a portal above and below and an extra ender chest if I need to. Chisel stone to put around the portal and a whole bunch of cobble so that we can build a pathway back to the nether hub and then I'll go back to the mushroom island um, take my silk shovel which I don't have right now to get some of the special dirt which mycelium I think it's called I can't remember for some reason this music is actually really distracting me um, to get some of the special dirt mycelium I believe and I have a slime that I found so I can make a lead so I can bring some mushrooms back and finally breed them the slime I found in my branch mine, a little baby slime just spawned right in front of me and scared the daylights out of me, so I must have a slime chunk in my branch mine, which is a good thing, actually. And then I will be able to bring some mushrooms back. So that's the plan. I'm just gonna let that cook up, I guess. I believe I have everything. I've gone over this list of supplies so many times now. That is pretty ridiculous. I'm pretty sure I have everything I'm gonna need. I've enchanted everything I could. I've been to the pigment farm to mend my elytra and I've been up there long enough to get a whole bunch of levels so I can fix my elytra. I'm gonna get a bed and elytra started right away with some rockets right away. Then if I run out of stuff, I'll put my ender chest down and I'll keep going, of course. So that is all ready to go. Um, I guess we can just pick this up with my Silk Touch, which I have for this purpose. Um, that's not Silk Touch. There we go. Let's head up to 
up to bed because it won't take us that long to get to the mesa. I want it to be daylight. All right, we're about at the mesa portal. Looks like somebody finally protected it, which I was actually going to do myself. Whoops, I just threw my sword. How'd that happen? <laughs> anyway, somebody finally protected the portal, thankfully. So I guess I don't have to. So anyway, in we go. All right, so where is the sun? It's directly ahead, so we're not going to waste a bed right now. But we do want to find south, because we went south 7,000 blocks. Which means you want to keep going south, which is this direction. We want to look for... Well, we want to look for the Mushroom Island, which may or may not exist. Um, so here we go, south it is. Let me put on my supplies here, or my gear. Get some rockets going. And um, we're just going to fly around till almost dark, and then we'll put a bed down, sleep, and then keep going. This is south. Let's see if this works. Let me see if I can find a good spot to jump off of here. I don't know if I really need a spot to jump, but we're going to try. So if I go like this, and um, there's so much river leg, I didn't jump. Oh boy, let's try that again. All right, so there we go. South it is. Duration three. Oh, this is nice to have duration three. Okay, and this should still be south. Yep, we're just going to go around. And look around. Mushroom Island is usually over the ocean. Um, the funny thing about this episode is I have no idea how long this is going to take me. So while you get to see the edited down version, for me... This could be hours, or this could be minutes, or perhaps I have to hang this up and do this again another day and finish then. I have no idea. I realize I forgot to take the coordinates of the portal back. It was 7,050, I think. Anyway, I don't see anything yet. I think we're still heading south. There's an ocean monument. We're going to avoid that like the plague. Um, Light has a lot of time. Oh, two ocean monuments right next to each other. That's crazy. Well, let's not crash. So going south, we are. The server leg almost put me right into that mountain. That's pretty scary, actually. I thought for sure we'd find something here because this has been all open ocean forever. Um, let's hop down here quick and then... Put her bed down and sleep here, I guess. If I can figure out how to land. How to land. I don't know how to land. Just like this. Like this. There we go. Nice. I didn't die. Let's put her bed down here. Whoops. I can't sleep yet. How's her lighter doing? Ooh. I should probably repair that elytra too. Another old monument. I think that's like six now. And I'm surprised I'm still alive, because I keep having a server leg, and I keep suddenly, like, crashing down. I'm just going back and forth. Looking over this ocean that keeps going forever. Looking for something... ...that might resemble... ...Mushroom Island. Another ocean monument! It's not the same ones, either. Alright, our light durability is about gone, so we're gonna come over here and land on this little island, fix our stuff, have another nap, and, um, ooh, get some spruce. Let's get some spruce. Can I land? Can I land? Stop here. Nice. Alright, well, let's get some spruce quick before we, um, fix our stuff. I don't think things are spawn in here on me, is it? No, it's not dark enough. Alright, we got a whole bunch of saplings. Let's swim over to this island. I don't think there's an ocean monument over there. Maybe that is. I don't know. I don't know what's going on over there, but it's scary. But let's go over here to this island. What is that? Why is that all lit up funny? Weird. Let's go over here and fix our stuff and have another little nap, I guess. All right, I have a feeling this is going to do it. There we go. Only took like seven tries. All right, we're at 10,000. And let's go shy of 600. I guess 700 now. Just 
systematically go back and forth and back and forth over this ocean until we find something. I'm actually honestly surprised it's taken me half an hour of this to not find anything yet. I thought I was just going to leave the mesa and find something, but nope. Oh, that was a nice glitch there. Well, here's an extreme, or, yeah, Mega Taiga with the special... I'm going to take those coordinates because I know someone's looking for one of these. So whatever that reads to be, I'm not going to look right now, but there's a Mega Taiga. I know someone's looking for that. So I found one. Oh. Oh boy, that server leg was scary. Let's go higher. We've run out of ocean, so where are we at? 10,800. No, there's more ocean. We'll go a little bit more south here. Around this thing. Alright, well, we're going to have to land in these planes and repair a lighter again. It's almost gone. Do we land like this? Alright, just in time. For it to be nighttime, too, so let's get a bed out. I don't know, I'm afraid we're going to have to head back because I only have one bed left and we're... Where are we? What are we at? Let's put those on. Uh, we're at 11,000 south of spawn. I mean, we're getting way out there. So let's head, well, let's head west first, which should be that way. And then when we get to, yeah, we're at 50. When we get to negative 700, we'll head north. So let's find a spot to jump off of here. An ocean monument, of course. We may have already been here. Nope, we have not been here. This is new territory. So this could be promising. More ocean. This is the west side of the ocean I was talking about. But I really wish we would have brought a map. A whole bunch of maps. And then I could have mapped this all out as I went. Oh boy. Which were we? We glitched. I said this way. I could have mapped all this out. That must be another ocean monument because the other one was to her right. Anyway, I'm looking for a single block that could be considered mushroom biome at this point. Uh-oh, my rocket stopped working. There we go. Ooh, I clicked that one about seven seconds ago. You can tell I'm desperate now. I feel like we're really close. I feel like if I just go a little more, we'll find something. Uh-oh, I didn't take more rockets out of my chest. Didn't think I would need them. How's my lighter looking? It's okay. Let's go this way. If I do have to land, it's not in a rough forest. Alright, well... We gotta head north, because... I'm gonna take the screenshot, capture this mesa, though. Because, um... That, we might come back here and check it out. This is a huge mesa, and to the west of us, if there's ocean... Might be our mushroom island. Anyway, okay, we gotta go north. I'm gonna run out and I'm gonna die. So north, we only have 2,000 to go northerly. Oh boy. All right, found our portal. And um, we just, it's a bust. Can't find a mushroom island. Um, maybe if I go a different direction like that way. I don't know. I'm gonna have to come back with some maps and keep heading north this time maybe. I don't know. I don't have to get with the other people. But anyway, let's head back to base and we'll have a debrief. Oh boy. We have a gas. Maybe he won't see us. Maybe he won't see us. Okay, I think we made it. Anyway, um, you know, I thought for sure I was going to find a mushroom island. But I went an hour and ten minutes flying around back and forth between positive 1200 and negative 700 or so all the way down to almost 12,000 south and um, a lot of ocean 27 monuments no mushroom islands I'm so disappointed um, so I don't know possibly I can head back and head north and west perhaps um, I don't know I have to see where Cephas base actually is and not go that direction well, Cephal went north, though, and I went south. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. I hate to leave an episode unfinished. In other words, I could just 
keep looking over time and just splice all my recordings together to make a complete episode. But you know what? I don't think I need to make a perfectly complete episode every time. I think it's okay that we didn't succeed this time. Um, don't look, that's an open fortress. I know it's kind of anticlimactic, but hey, I wanted to show you that I did it, that I could do it, that I wasn't scared to do it. Although I think it's funny that it ran out of levels of repairing elytra every time, but I guess that's just what happens. Um, I'm going to stop at the zombie pigment farm and charge my levels back up, though, on my way back to my base. So we're almost back to the nether hub already. There's the witch farm to the right, the portal. So I will charge up my levels and I will meet you back at my own base. All right, here we are back in the storage facility. Now, um, look at that pretty sunrise. Very pretty sunrise. Look at that. Screenshot that while we can. Anyway, we didn't come up empty handed though. Um, we did get some spruce, which means that we can complete our six, our six types of wood. And here we go. Put in our spruce. Put in the saplings. And then sometime off camera, when I have time to kill, which never happens, but in case I have time to kill, I'm going to plant all these saplings all over my yard. And then just mine everything. Spend some time mining a bunch of stuff. But otherwise, um, let's head up top and we'll debrief and we'll talk about what's coming up. Alright, so here we are, safe and sound, all unpacked and ready for our next adventure. So as I said, I'm sorry we didn't actually find an, an island, a mushroom island. I know it's kind of strange to have an episode that isn't complete, but um, that's just how it's going to be. And we did find spruce, and we did practice flying, and we did do some other things. And um, that's just the way it is. So... I'm going to make some diamond armor for myself. I think I have a few spare diamonds because these both are almost dead. And I'm going to repack for our next adventure. And you will see what that adventure is in the next episode. Until then, catch you around.